Good morning everybody, it's early Sunday morning and Bodie and I are over at Roundshaw Downs to collect some rose hips. Is that what we're going to do? Yeah. Yeah? Um, and there's loads in the hedgerows here, um, but also we need to be, just wanted to show you something about the difference between hawthorn berries and rose hips because this time of year there are a lot of berries around and we just want to make sure that people don't pick the wrong things because it could be a bit disastrous if you pick the wrong berry. So we're going to show you some berries so that you can tell the difference. So this berry here is a hawthorn and you can tell because of the shape of the leaf. So if I hold that leaf in my hand you can see the shape of that and they've all gone a bit, um, they're starting to go autumnal colours. They look like this when they're green. Yeah. Um, look at, and look if, at it compared. Yeah. To, so those are the hawthorn berries. So it's quite easy to compared. see. Um, and um, it's quite a spiky branch, quite a spiky tree. I'll show you. Look at the spike on that. Look. look. Oh, Bo wants to show you. What do look. you want to show? Look at the difference between um, a green one and a brown yeah. one. Yeah. So we're not picking hawthorns today, are we? No. They won't hurt you, hawthorns. You can eat them. Mama, they are just not very tasty. Bo wants to eat a leaf, which we do that in the spring. Tell me what it tastes like in the autumn then. Is it a bit tough? Good. Okay. In case you see these ones, these are spindle berries. And you're not allowed to eat those because they're poisonous. So they're very pretty. But you are allowed to pick them. But they're poisonous. You are allowed to pick them. Well, if you pick them, why would you pick them? What would be the purpose? Well, you're not allowed to put it in your mouth, but you are allowed to pick them. Well, what would you do with your hands afterwards if you pick them? Wash, wash them. Yeah, good job. So here are the actual rose hips. So you can see that a rose hip is quite ovate, oval in shape. I'm just trying to get my camera to focus on it which it doesn't seem to want to do and it's attached to it's a rose bush essentially so you're looking for sort of a spiky spiky rose bush can you see the thorns on this rose bush are quite distinctive they look like little rhinoceros horns can you see that what looks like little rhinoceros the, the little spikes on the rose in fact oh, yeah. Damien from Go Wild usually picks one off and then he sticks it on his nose like a rhino horn. So I'm going to try and do that. Like this. Can you see my rhino horn? <laughs> it's not a rhino horn. <laughs> Is it not a rhino horn? It's oh. A horn. oh, it's fallen off. And now we found ourselves another lesser spotted rhino. <laughs> Love that. There's a lot of... Um berries or leaves on one bush or any plants you want to take. Don't take too many from one patch. Why is that? Why do you think that is? Because it needs them. Yeah, it does. It needs them. These berries are the plant's seeds, aren't they? Yeah. And if we take all the seeds, then the plant can't sow itself again can't let its babies grow and reproduce so we'll try and only take a few from each and along this hedgerow we've Look, got absolutely I'm playing, tons I'm and tons some of them might have gone past their best so they've gone a bit wrinkly um so ideally don't go for the wrinkly old ones but equally you might find some that are really still quite hard um, and not really ripe. So you want some really nice, deep red coloured oh, ones. And if they come really easily off the plant, then they're good to use. Happy birthday! I don't think it's anyone's birthday, except maybe the person that's going to get the rose hip syrup <laughs> made with our rose hips that we've collected. What else Happy have you birthday. been? What else have you been eating, Bo, along the journey? Slows. Slows. Very yummy. Well, they're not supposed to be very yummy, they but but Bo's been quite enjoying trying. Like this. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> and I loved it. And you loved it. 
So that was our uh, picking of rosehip adventure. We hope you get out there at some point in the next few days to pick your own. So remember Roundshaw Downs, Pearly Way, loads of rose hips there. Um, but have a look around. Try not to pick rose hips from the side of the road because they'll be all polluted with all the stuff off the cars. So try where you can to get your rose hips from uh, somewhere deep in the in the nice green, into the woods, into the hedgerows that are away from the roads. Um, and next week we will be putting together a little video of how to make rose hip syrup. So maybe tomorrow even, um, we'll see how time progresses. In the meantime, have a lovely weekend and I'll see you guys soon.